I've watched this one habit, this one thing single-handedly tear people apart both mentally and financially. And the damage behind this is it doesn't just make you poor, it keeps you poor as long as you keep allowing it to control you. I think this habit is only human nature, but at some point we have to shake it. I picked up this bad habit years ago and it stuck with me throughout my teenage years and even the early years of my adult life. And all I can say is, if I knew then what I know now, things would be different. My peace of mind would have been on another level. My finances would have skyrocketed. I would be happier. Those were the types of conversations I used to have with myself about how life could have been. And I used to get caught up in that way of thinking to the point I would put myself in a comparison trap. Only, I wasn't comparing myself to others. I was comparing my life to how life could have and should have been. And no, the habit I'm talking about isn't comparison. The habit I'm talking about is what led up to the comparison in the first place. Fear. I remember being afraid. I remember being so scared of losing my job and this led to a scarcity mindset which limited the opportunities I had all around me. The worst part is it consumed my mind and completely clouded my thoughts with negativity. Man, what if I mess up again and they fire me? Oh man, I forgot to do this. So probably in the morning, they're gonna call me to the office and tell me how bad I messed up and what's gonna happen if I mess up again. Man, they've really been on me a lot lately. They're, they're just trying to get rid of me. Those types of thoughts. So I found that when my mind was preoccupied with that stuff, I couldn't become the best version of myself. I couldn't improve like I wanted to. And I basically imprisoned myself to my own negative thoughts. That's how it affected me, but I've even seen it in worse scenarios where coworkers of mine would actually throw people under the bus to make themselves look good because they were so fearful of losing their jobs that they developed a, it's either him or me type of mentality. And I saw firsthand that when people become fearful, they get desperate. And when they get desperate, when they get backed into a corner, people can do some dishonorable things. Like lying on someone else to excuse themselves of their own mistakes by attempting to pin it on someone else so they don't have to deal with the consequences. See, that's a scarcity mindset and it keeps you poor. When you think that your job is the only job you can get that pays as much as your job is paying, you're in scarcity. And that mindset makes your reality a self-fulfilling prophecy because you close your mind to any idea that you might actually be successful somewhere else. Making more money, working less hours. Instead, you'd rather play a dangerous game of excuses, blaming, and finger pointing, which can backfire. I've seen it a thousand times. It's happened to many people I know and trust, and it's even happened to me more than once. Grown men and women acting like children, all because they have fear, and that fear causes a scarcity mindset, and that causes actual scarcity. It's the same mindset that keeps people trapped in the jobs they work right now that they claim they hate so much. Look, the day I realized my value after I self-improved, no one could tell me anything. There was no BS lie in the world that could convince me that I wasn't valuable enough to venture out to a different city or state and make more money than I'm making right now. Because by then, that fear died. And what was born was confidence. When you have that confidence, you have the strength to leave a job that works you half to death. You have the strength to leave a job that won't pay you what you're worth or won't treat you right. But at first, I was too afraid. Afraid to take a chance. Afraid of the unknown. So I stayed. Maybe that's you right now. I don't know. But what I do know is that will keep your pay rate low. What I do know is you will never be able to escape the everyday anxiety, the discomfort, the fast heartbeats that seem to shift your entire body every single time you walk into a place you legitimately hate until you build the strength to leave that place for another place. That brings me back to a time where I read this quote online that really hit home with me. I read it a while ago, but it said something to the effect of, Having the fear of losing a secure $50,000 a year can rob you of earning $10,000 a month. For me, that had a double meaning. You could literally get another job that pays you $10,000 a month, which is $120,000 a year, but you might be so used to the security that your $50,000 a year job provides that you don't even wanna take that chance. That might be comfortable for you right now. And you might fear taking the chance of taking on another job that you're unfamiliar with. Or the job might be in the town that you're unfamiliar with, so you don't want to take that chance. 
And if that's you, I know exactly how you feel because I've had that same fear myself. But I can tell you, as soon as I got over that fear, I went from 60000 a year to 80000 a year to over 100000 a year. It was worth it. On the flip side, maybe you're someone like me who knows for a fact you don't want to be working for someone else for your whole life. And you'd like to live life on your terms and build your own business and become self-employed. But let me ask you this, if you do feel that way, have you stepped out on faith and tried to build something outside of work in your free time? Because it's risky, it's time consuming, it's stressful, it can be all those things because what you're doing is you're basically building a whole nother job for yourself that will eventually pay you. But the fear there is, well, what if I'm wasting my time? Look, I'm 26. If I want to spend 90% of my time off work building a business and I actually enjoy doing it and for some reason it still fails... How can I say I'm wasting my time in comparison to someone who's just chilling or watching the TV all day, playing video games or living it up on the weekends? I've done all those things before, so I already know what that's like. Time will go by regardless, and I'd much rather be able to say I tried and failed than to be asking myself, what if I tried? Because when I become successful at what I'm doing, me and my entire family are going to be set for the rest of our lives. And the people who benefit from the services I offer, their lives are going to be changed as well. It's very hard to think like that when you have fear. See, we have to start thinking beyond just security because it's that thought process that's keeping us poor. I mean, think about it. The dollar is losing its value every single day, thanks to inflation. But time stays the same. No matter what, we will only ever have 24 hours in a day. So if money is losing its value and time stays the same, but you still have to trade your time for money, what does that tell you? Either we need to find a way to make more money without overworking ourselves, or we need to find a way to make money work for us. That's the only way. But we're afraid of investing our time and our money. We're afraid of investing our time because you could have been doing something else. Maybe you wanted to get more sleep. I love my sleep too, but if I build an asset that makes me more money in my sleep than my job pays me, then I can sleep as much as I want in the future. Maybe you want to catch up on your shows or just relax. Maybe you want to be super social and have a life. We need to figure out what the alternative is, like what am I willing to have less of right now so I can have more in the future. Same thing for investing money. Some people don't want to invest in themselves or in starting a business because they're afraid they might fail. I understand that, and that's not for everybody, but when I talk about investing in stocks, I get a lot of what-if questions. See, the same amount of time people spend talking about those what-ifs could be put into actually researching what businesses are good to invest in. Learning how stock investing works, getting into the habit of taking a chance, building up your stock portfolio, and building your financial future. You can save money in your bank account, but that won't grow your money. What I found is that it's better to have a good amount of money saved up, like six months of expenses or more in your savings account. And from there, I've eased off from putting in a bunch of money into my savings account. I still put money there, it's just not as much as I used to. Because like I said, the dollar's losing its value every day. So technically, the more I'm putting in there, the more I'm losing. So now I put my extra money heavily into investments. And the top two things I'm invested in right now is one, myself, and two, stocks. I used to have a fear of doing that, but I'm taking a chance because I believe in myself and I believe in everything I'm invested in. And because of that, I've seen positive results. In fact, most things I've done in my adult life have been risky, but they've paid off. And just like I used to tell myself that things would be different if I hadn't started off with fear, now I ask myself, how bad would things be if I were too afraid to do anything? The answer is very bad. And you know what? I've come to this realization. Essentially what fear is doing is it's taking away the meaning of security by making people think that they're already secure in what they're doing. And because they feel so secure in what they're doing, they're afraid of losing what they have, like their jobs. And that very fear of losing it is keeping them away from everything that would otherwise eliminate that fear. Isn't that ironic? Anyways, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.